Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, hi, I'm Rush the Goth, welcome aboard! In today's video, we're going to be doing a what? Shein haul! I've got a huge order from Shein, um, got my coffee, of course. Since this is still a haul, we're going to be lighting a candle. My favorite candle ever is this one from Red Leaf Home, and it's When Night Comes, which is Fly. Let's get started. I figure we start off with the small things and work our way up. So our first item is this little bat purse. I love it. It was, of course, Shein. I'll put the listing here so you can see it. One chrome, there is a string already fresh out of the package, but it's Shein. I'm not gonna complain too hard. Um, I haven't quite opened it yet. So let's get in there. Okay, it's just this, just to keep it shape, I suppose. Um, and it does come with a strap. So that's great. I can wear it as a, maybe a crossbody. I mean, that's cute. I like that. That works for me. I enjoy it. There's a mirror right here. So if I'm looking over here, it's a mirror. Um, yeah, it was a cute little bag. It's kind of spacious, honestly. It's big for what it is. It's, you know, I can fit maybe, I can fit my phone. I can fit my wallet in here. I feel like that's good. And it's brown on the inside. I don't know if I told you, but it's brown on the inside, tan. Yeah. I say this is a nice little nine out of 10. So as we all know, I just went on a trip to Salem. Um, I had a little bag that I used for my makeup, but it was okay. You know, it was, it just said C'est la vie on it or something. I'll just link the whole playlist up above here. So you can see I got a new makeup bag that fits my aesthetic more and it's this you see of course a picture here it's tsa friendly and it has a zip of course it's just a makeup bag a good old spider spider web makeup bag i got some new sunnies because i love sunnies and here are the new ones that i have these babies. A moment? Nothing else can be said. I love them dearly. Oh, these are gonna be the ones. These are the ones. I know TJ Maxx, I think it was TJ Maxx? TJ Maxx is selling or was selling a spiderweb bandana. And I was like, I can't find it anywhere. I can't find it. I don't want to crochet it because I'm not great at crochet. But she in. It was like, hey, hey girl, I know you're looking for a bandana, so here you go. Um, it's really good quality. It's nice and heavy fabric. Um, yeah, it looks amazing. I feel like I couldn't do this crocheting. It works for me. I mean, I love it. It's... It's a bandana. I can't be mad at that. I'm very excited about this item. It's finally cool, okay? It's finally, today's high is gonna be like 68. We don't have to turn on the air. We don't have to do any of that, like none. We just wear blankets and hoodies and we're good. That's my weather. That's why I'm like so vigorized, invigorated, invigorated. I'm, I'm ready. Okay, this is it. The trees outside are turning colors. It's definitely time to warm up the wardrobe. And today we have a sweater. Now I've been eyeing this sweater since summer. This, isn't this sick? Oh my God, I love it. Let's put her on. Now I got this sweater in like, I think a 2X because I wanted the, the space in it and I wanted just to be able to curl up in it. So it's kind of long. Um, I am 5'8", so I'm a tall girly, but it comes like behind the bum, just a little. And the sleeves are frayed like so. And I just, I'm in love. <laughs> this is such a badass design to me. I absolutely adore it. love this sweater leave a comment down below if you think that there's another sweater that can just you know so I do have an obsession 
I'm addicted. And what am I going to do? They keep releasing them, keep releasing different colors, and I just can't help myself, okay? It's so versatile. It's so easy to add on top of anything else. It's layerable. This shirt, this beaut of a shirt, one of my favorite colors actually is like a dark green, like this. This was definitely going to be bought. Um, let's try it on. I absolutely love these shirts. Um, I did have um, a subscriber, hey, you know who you are, uh, mention that taking out these wires to get it to fit on the bigger booby ladies because, you know, team boobs over here. It's gonna sit weird, but I do for some reason feel like this one is sitting a little lower right here than it usually is. Usually I feel like it's like right there. So maybe they're getting the hint on Shein. They mentioned that like taking them out with a little slit just so you can like sew it back up if you need to. All it really does is just make it more comfortable. It doesn't show or hide the fact that it's sitting right there on your boob, but it does make it more comfortable. I got another one of these type of tops. Um, it's not the same, surprise, surprise, but it's pretty darn close. And it's a little not cooperating with me right now to show you, um, but okay, so here's the piece. Here's a little piece on it. And it looks more black than anything, but it does have red undertones. So it's like that, but you can, you can actually kind of see it, I don't know. It's because the black part is like a mesh, but the underneath is red. I don't know if that's picking up on camera at all. This little button here, I know I was talking about a Shein haul. I'll post that here. Um, Shein haul ago, I bought a dress that had a little cross on it, and I was like, oh no, like it's totally going to fall off at some point if I don't sew it down. And this is secure on there, okay? This thing is not going anywhere. This is going to be for layering purposes during the winter. For the summer, it's gonna be on its own with a shawl. It's just such a versatile piece that I am happy to say that I can wear it during the winter as well as the summer. So next up, this top. I don't actually remember putting this in my cart. Here's that shirt. <laughs> it's super cute. It's very like, it's giving Victorian, which is definitely what I'm going for. Um, it has this like, floral pattern to it hope you can see that of course the listing here um but yeah let's jump into this top uh fingers crossed that i can get into it it fit the boobs that's what i was concerned about um because when i opened it i was like this is a little tight looking it fits the boobs but it doesn't i don't think it's gonna close um yeah, it's not gonna close without it being like, the button's looking like a hole. I feel like even if it doesn't close, I can just wear a top like I have on now, like a tank top, and it might be okay. Not me out of breath from trying on this shirt, like squeezing my boobs in there. If anything, I could probably wear like a sports bra under this and smush my boobs down just a little, cause it's like almost there, um, I feel. It's almost there, but this shirt's absolutely adorable. I am so excited about it. It's got absolutely no give, so order a size up. But I love the sleeves on this. It's so cute. This could be worn for like corp goth if you have something important to do. I'm sticking with the Victorian-esque theme here and it's for winter. So we have this little shawl that I thought was absolutely adorable. Here it is in all of its glory. I think this is a killer item, a killer piece. It's good for versatility. It's perfect for winter. It's good for um, summer, maybe spring, maybe not summer exactly, but spring, like when it's still a little cool outside, I'm gonna be wearing this. And it's thin enough where it's still breathable and your back won't be, you know, <laughs> too cold lace being on this sold it for me i can't wait to match it and style it and wear some of those like pieces that i showed earlier my mind is running running with ideas i love it so much so q 
keeping in theme with, of course, Victorian. I feel like Victorian styling, like with the sleeves and all, is perfect for the winter. I want to keep in theme with Victorian-esque styling and I got the most perfect shirt. You know I did. Look at that. I, I just, I can't show you enough detail about this shirt. So here's the sleeve, first and foremost. Here's that sleeve, got the scrunch on it. Here's the bodice part. And then the neck area, like it's stunning. Absolutely sickening. Here's the posting so you can see it on the model. Um, but wow, absolutely wow. <laughs> Let's put her on. Okay, I'm not gonna fully button this up because I'm rather slow when it comes to button having these grabbers on. Um, but you get the idea, right? You get the gist. We see where we're going with this. Oh, I love a good sleeve. This is everything. The fluff here, it's just, it's perfect. Let's see how, let me try one more button for you guys because I want you to get the effect. Look at that. I hope you can, I hope you can hear me. That's my mic, so. <laughs> but absolutely killer. This will work perfectly to a skirt, which brings me to my next item. Are you ready? I'm probably just gonna match it with this. Honestly, I'll probably wear it together um, with this top. So let me grab that for you. So this skirt was actually, again, recommended by a lovely subscriber and I thank you so much because you know my style. We're here. It's this skirt. Oh, look at that. Isn't it stunning? Oh, the rest of it's just plain. But I mean, that bottom part, stunning. Even with this, even with this top, it even goes. But here's the skirt in all of its glory. I have never not wanted to take off a skirt before. It's so comfortable. Shein is excellent at doing a thick band because who wants a thin band that'll roll down? I have seen that too many times as a plus size. One, if you're interested at all in this skirt, I say run to grab this from Shein, okay? This is amazing. It, the quality, every time I order velvet from Shein, the quality is always surprising. So sticking with skirts, I decided to get yet another skirt and don't be surprised that there are probably more skirts to come. But this skirt here caught my eye absolutely immediately. Look at that. Um, I haven't tried it on. I think it is a mermaid-esque, but it does have this tie on it here. Which, honestly, I'm going to spin around <laughs> and have that in the back because I feel like that's just cuter in the back. But let's try it on. Let's see if my idea is correct. Now, I haven't tied it in the back, so we shall see. I don't think it has anything to do with the sizing of the skirt. Yeah, I like that much better in the back. And then just a simple front. It's not... It's not quite mermaid. It's not like a fitted mermaid skirt. I would say it is mermaid leaning. The frills at the bottom really do it for me. <laughs> it really adds a body and a movement to the skirt that is definitely needed, especially for the style. Do I wish it was more like, like that kind of? More like fishtail-esque? I still absolutely love it. And the little tie in the back here is gonna be wonderful when it's styled correctly. Um, actually, it does kind of tighten just a little. It is missing that thick band that I love so much, <laughs> but that's not really a problem. I love it. We've all seen Wednesday, loved Wednesday. I fell in love with her skirt. I saw it and I was like, I want that. Well, I think it's, I think it's her whole dress that she wears to like the dance, but I found a skirt that kind of looks like the bottom part of her dress. Here it is. It's see-through. Yeah, it's see-through. It's really cute, it's really well-made. And again, it does have a thicker band, so that's great. Um, my plan with this is to layer. 
for winter, I like to layer things just for warmth, especially if I'm gonna wear a skirt. Um, I don't quite have a skirt that I want to layer just yet under this. Here's the skirt on. Again, it's another versatile piece. You can wear it for summer. You can wear it like summer. You can put on some shorts and you can put it like this and wear it like so. Um, you probably even wear like just a top like this kind of and just rock the skirt during the summer slash spring. Spring, I'd probably put on like a shawl or something, but winter, we're gonna bundle it up. We're gonna put another skirt under here. Um, we're gonna have shorts underneath, maybe even just some leggings probably would look nice. Leggings and like maybe a mini skirt underneath. And then this, so many ideas you can, you know, wear it with. But first of all, the quality on this, great um i would recommend hand washing because it it doesn't feel like it's gonna tear but just in case the little sections are laced see and i just i love this skirt it's so flowy and pretty and i love a good twirl for a skirt and this definitely has it so remember how i said there was gonna be something that smelled weird well sometimes you win with shein Sometimes you don't. Um, I got these leather pants. I think they're absolutely cool. Um, they're kind of different from my normal style. I have tried them on before and I was like, hmm, do I really like these? I don't know. I haven't really fully sold myself on them. Um, I like them a lot more here in this picture, but here they are in real life. <laughs> um, they smell like fish quite disturbing how bad it smells um I have aired these out <sighs> I've aired them out <laughs> for about a week I got a 4x in these um only because one they were selling out of every other size and I was like I need them I need them just to see if I like them <laughs> and two I'm really grateful that I got a 4x because there's absolutely no give in these pants um, so I don't even have to necessarily unzip them but the zipper did just pop right there it did just pop uh, but I can fix that it's an easy fix I hate it when zippers pop on things uh, okay so don't look at that <laughs> but yeah here they are on and my popped side here but it's the it's the bottoms for me I don't know if I like that exactly. There's some times where I'm like, oh yes, I'm feeling leather, like a full leather outfit. And I feel like this might work for it. Um, it's definitely got movement and shape. Um, these zippers here are just for aesthetic. It's no actual pocket. I wish this kind of zipper was here. I don't know why companies put like these little flimsy zippers where it needs durability especially for a plus size item you're gonna need to size up is what i'm trying to say you're gonna need to size up in these i didn't think a 4x would even fit to be honest but it fits it fits like a two not even gonna lie it fits like a 2x closer to a one you might never see them again you might see them again i don't know okay so the next pair of pants that i got um but i got them in a 2x because they're supposed to be kind of tight and they're like this on the sides. Um, yeah, so the best way I, can, I feel like I can show you is to try them on, but it does have that like break kind of at the knee like the other ones did. Comfy and cute. That's usually what I go for if I'm not full dressed up. Here they are on. Um, I do have shorts on, otherwise it would look like that, like all the way up here. Uh, so yeah. I think these fit amazing, first of all. Um, they're not see-through, so I'm checking in the mirror just to make sure. <laughs> they're not see-through, and they're really comfy. I think they're great for winter. They're warm on the inside. Um, it's a thick, like, nylon texture. The band is pretty thick, which, again, uh, amazing things with a thick band. I have one more item to show, and it's these amazing spiderweb leggings. And I love these so much because they were selling a similar pattern, um, sweatpants, jogger set, 
at Target this year, and I was like, ooh, those are cute, but like, I don't know if I like them fully. But this, a legging, love a legging. So let's try these on. Just something to throw on, be spooky and cute, and yeah, they work for me. These are a 3X. I do say they were a little tight, but I mean, it is legging, so it's not gonna be like loose. So yeah, I like these. They're a little like um, see-through, but nothing you can't, you know, layer up, especially if you're wearing heat tech underneath and then put these on top. And I think that's just a great little outfit. And honestly, you could probably even put these under like a skirt or something. So yeah, I really like these. These are so comfy and I am definitely gonna be wearing them during the season. That wraps up the video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video haul. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below, what was your favorite piece? Are you finding things that you're wanting to wear for the season? I will see you in the next video.